Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cut, and I am starting a new project, and I'll show you my squirrel journal in just a minute. I just wanted to get this started so that it can start getting dry. And this is going to be really similar to what we did on that um, old paper, Volume 2. Um, what was it? Uh, it was one of these. Yeah, I just cut it smaller. That's right. And we, like, collaged all over it, and... Um, just I had it cut shorter so this one I'm leaving full size this is a 9 by 12 envelope so I'm going to cover the whole thing and I thought it would be fun to do an altered notebook to fit inside of it so I'm going to leave it full size because you can see that that's basically the size that we'll need for the um, altered notebook so I'm not going to take pages out of this one like I've done in the past we're just going to alter this the way that it is so I thought I would do um, this kind of packing paper, the thin version, not the thicker version that feels more like paper bag like this, not this. That's what I have underneath here. Not that thick, just the thin type. And I'm going to crumple it and all that like we do. So if you have a project that you're working on, go ahead and get that out and just hang out with me. So yeah, I'm just um, starting this. I thought I would do this for my um, Spooky Times Digi. So I thought it would be a fun, something different, I don't know, I get bored doing the same thing all the time. I just had a thought I probably should stick something in here so it does not stick. Let me see. It doesn't have to be like perfect, you just kind of might want something in there so that um, you don't get the edges all stuck together. Let me see if I can find something that is. Hold on just a minute, I'll find something. Okay, hi, I'm back. Sorry about that. I um, thought of it before I started, but then I got doing something else. I don't even know what, but anyway, all the best laid plans, right? So I just cut a piece of acetate from, like, a paper pack or whatever. I saved those, so they come in handy both for, like, if you want an acetate window or you want, you know, to do this. So I just cut it so that it would slide in there so it's all the way, slid all the way to the bottom. So that's what that is. You could probably use like um, a piece of cardboard with some saran wrap around it or something like that. You just don't want it to, you know, stick to the other side. That's all. So nothing complicated. So anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a pretty good day. It just started out really hectic. I don't know what that is some mornings. It's like, why did I get out of bed? <laughs> it's just been a lot. It's um, always interesting in the beginning of school year, and I am not super good about staying on top of every single thing and I forgot that the kids had uh, pictures today two days after school starts or this, so this is the third day but anyway um, I just feel like could they at least get used to like their schedule and everything because we had um, band, marching band practice last night and didn't get home until 9 30 and so that's why I totally spaced it and of course now you always have to have all this stuff done and paid for and everything on the internet and so I remembered at six o'clock this morning so it was one of those running around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to get ready for work but I mean I, I don't mean to be like totally complaining I'm just sometimes it's a little crazy so I just wish they could give you like a week to get in the groove and then do pictures or something and the other thing is my kids um, have to have an ASB card which I don't know if that's something that happens everywhere but you know like an activities card because they're in marching band um, otherwise they won't let them in to play at the football games <laughs> which I think is crazy it's like they aren't there to watch the game they're there to play for you know marching band but I guess it's no different than the football players but it's just crazy to me crazy so um and you had to have that all paid for and everything this morning. I don't know. I just always feel, I feel rushed at the beginning of the year, I think, because you get in that kind of lazy days. Not that we get to be very lazy, because we always have stuff going on. But um, you just kind of get in that mode of summertime, and then everything gets crazy. Like I said, I wish they could just give you a little bit of time. 
I think the hard part is I go back to work too, and I know most people work all the time, so I really can't complain. But I'm just saying it's it's a tricky one when you forget these things because you're dingy like me. So it's a little hairy this morning. And they're trying to, you know, get ready for pictures and And I'm going to have professional pictures of my daughter done. I actually have a friend that I work with who was gracious enough to say that she would, you know, be willing to take the pictures. And then, you know, we just have to get them printed out and all that stuff. So I'm excited about that. But I still had to get a few um, pictures <laughs> because I just can't not, you know, with her little drape on and stuff. So this lace is in that... Um, I used it in the digi that I did the Halloween one so I mean you probably won't have big sheets of this but I also found online at Digital Curio on Etsy she has a really pretty um, black lace so and all different ones so I thought I might use little pieces of these laces just to you know kind of get that I mean I want it to be Halloween but I'm not going for like spooky necessarily like scary kind of thing or anything and it doesn't have to like completely scream Halloween. I just want to sort of give the nod to that, I guess you could say. So I'm going to try this. I hope this works. I don't know because the wet with this. And I'm just using matte Mod Podge. Nothing fancy. I just thought it would be fun to kind of have some little bits of this. It's so funny, every time I do a video on my phone, <laughs> my phone ding-dongs. Sorry about that. But yeah. I still haven't gotten the light fixed. That reminds me I need to call the electrician again. See if they're... They must be busy, I don't know. I'm kind of just taking all different sizes, like it's not really any particular rhyme or reason to it. I'm just covering up this or this yellow orangey color because I just don't, didn't want that color. Even though it's technically not a bad Halloween-y type color, but that's just not what I want. i use a piece of this. Yeah, these are great laces. Digital Curio. So I've never gotten anything from her, but um, I just did a search for black lace um, digital downloads and hers came up. So it was kind of one of those deals. I have no affiliation, but I do like to give people credit because I would like to, you know, get credit for what I do. Just like we all do. So I have no idea what this is going to turn out like, but I thought it would be really fun to do kind of like an altered, instead of a file folder, one of these 9x12 envelopes, and then an altered um, composition notebook inside. That obviously can definitely be used like a journal. Because that's fun. And I want to kind of keep this as flat as possible because I have another little something in mind that I'll share once we get it all, this part all done. And I know this isn't super exciting because like, you know, you guys know how to do this, but if you're new, you just might want an idea or something, so. Or even if you've been doing it a while, you might want an idea. I know that happens to me. I go looking for stuff quite often. Just to, even if I don't do what I saw in a video, sometimes it just sparks something and um, then I'm off, you know. And it, I could end up doing something entirely different, but um, it just sometimes gets you, gets you thinking in the creative mode. So, but I think that's kind of why we all watch and do this stuff, because it's... It's helpful. Just like going on Pinterest or whatever for ideas. I'm going to figure out where the edge of this is. 
guess I'll just kind of do this sort of thing. And it is going to be a little thick, but I just don't want stuff sticking up too, too much is what I'm trying to avoid. And like I said, I don't know what this will turn out like, but we'll find out. So yeah, that little um, squirrel journal turned out pretty cute. See, this is what I was worried about. See how the black is coming off of that one? I didn't let that one dry. I just printed it today. These ones I printed yesterday, so that might be something to think about if you want to use the lace. Let it dry all the way because <laughs> you'll have better results. Let's see, what do I want? Maybe I'll just do another piece of this over here. And getting these at the dollar store not that that's a huge bargain because they're so tiny but I kind of like the size because you don't have that tub that you're messing with so these are kind of nice and hey yeah yeah there's one bristle that just wants to stick with me it's been so fun the last few days we've been um testing well we tested our kindergartners and today we tested our first graders and um they're doing great this year and i'm really excited about that we even have quite a few kindergartners who are you know already starting to read which is always awesome i love it when that happens so it's exciting we're getting them in a routine just nice when it goes along smoothly. Some years obviously are better than others with that, which is normal. Everybody's different. But yeah, they're just super cute. It's so funny in the beginning because you kind of forget, you know, by the end of the year they know the routine and they know how to like, you know, go line up and go through the lunch line and do all those kind of things. And in the beginning, it's really a lot like herding cats. <laughs> we were joking yesterday because they're so cute and they just don't know and they don't know where to go and you're trying to get them this way and that way and they're just adorable. And then they get it and they're off. It's so cool. And it's been fun testing them and, and then also seeing the first graders that were obviously our kindergartners last year. It was, it's good to see a lot of them and see how they're doing and with their letters and reading and whatnot. We haven't really had a chance to work with the older kids yet. I don't work a bunch with the older kids anyway. I, I kind of stick with the first and um, kindergarten, but I do work with fourth graders for a bit every day. We just haven't gotten there yet for testing, so. I like this. I, like this. I want mostly the lace. bummed about that, that that went purple like that. <laughs> Hopefully I can make it look okay, because the rest of them, the color is pretty good. And I'm going to do some other layers. I kind of inspired by Artie Mays and how she, um, you know, does all the different layers. And if you don't watch her, I would definitely recommend watching her, because she does some really cool stuff especially if you like mixed media. She's really good. I mean, I, of course, will not probably do it as cool as she does, but <laughs> just the idea of, again, the inspiration of it. Everybody's just got a different style. Very good. 
for what she does. So it probably in the end won't end up being as much of just this brown because like I said I'm going to do some other things too. But it's just a base to get rid of that. This <laughs> I don't love that. I forgot to tear that edge. I'm not loving that either. So let's take a piece of this. Maybe we'll go right there. For kids last night um, it was the first you know band practice kind of thing since school started and it was so hot yesterday and they didn't have to practice till you know six o'clock in the evening and but whew, it was a cooker for sure all those kids were sucking down water like crazy doing a really good job last year was kind of hard it was his first year in marching band and um you know i'm gonna use some of this burlap too because it looks kind of cool um he's just really caught on now and well he's he's grown quite a bit both mentally and physically and um so he just he's it's looking pretty sharp out there they're all doing great this year and i'm amazed at how well the freshmen have caught on because the show is a lot faster this year like the tempo and everything and um yeah they're all just doing great so that's awesome because that is not easy when you're hoofing it like that especially the first time and it's not even easy for the kids that have done it for a while you know so it's a good group though they are willing to you know listen and do what needs to be done so that's awesome because when they don't want to be there it can be really hard to you know get them motivated to do it and the kids are really motivated to get upset if the other ones aren't it's it's all you know it's like any sport or anything like that some are highly motivated and love it and other ones are like we're just here for the credit <laughs> so that's hard They usually get pretty excited and they make good friends or good good group and very supportive of each other so that's awesome. And kids can be pretty funny, pretty entertaining. So yeah, Gail, wrote, uh, Gail Agustinelli wrote a comment last time because I mentioned that I gave her those squares. And she said I threw down the gauntlet, you know, saying I can't wait to see what Gail does with it. I, she's so funny. I love her. I was excited to see what she does. She does such cool stuff. Allie just, uh, Allie at Cockney Crafter, um, she just did a design team page using my Diorio kit and that turned out really pretty if you guys want to check out what she did. And Samantha did one not too long ago, a design team, she did a whole journal. 
And Gail did a Diorio album, so if you want to take a peek at that. And I think Rachel is um, starting something, I'm not sure what. I just told her, do whatever you want. Um, she does everything awesome, so. <laughs> um, just with my mushroom and butterfly digi. So yeah, everybody's using all different ones, so that's fun, because then you get to see different stuff being done. You don't feel like you, all you're seeing is one. And then I'm doing the spooky times. So it's been good. I really appreciate all of my design team, awesome ladies, just wonderful crafters. Oh my goodness. How lucky could I get? And I just sent some stuff to Denise, so I think she's going to be have something cooking. But she's got her Martha one too, so she may be working on that one first, which is completely understandable. So this side over here is already starting to dry. If you guys are getting bored, I have no issues if you you know, fast forward, or whatever, whatever you gotta do, because I know this is a little bit slow, but for people that like to see the process, I like to offer it, we're getting there, and I will do the other side, but I won't do it on camera, I'll do it myself another time, just so that you don't have to watch all that. Kind of like these sort of patchwork looks, I guess. I tend to have been doing that a lot lately. I think it's just fun. My posh is running out. I got another one, so I'm good. Make sure we get all those spots in there. Where it wants to lift sometimes. of this and put it over there before it gets dry. This is the burlap. These edges are a little too square. We have a lot of kids this year. We went from like last year, I don't know, like maybe almost a hundred um, kindergarten students there, but they weren't all there at the same time. So on any given day, we probably had like 45, 50 would be our max um, because they were doing like part time or half time or however you want to call that kindergarten. And they switched over to full-time, which is really good because it's nice having the same class all day, every day, instead of switching, you know, be during the week. Because um, they used to go like Monday, Tuesday, every other Wednesday, and then the next class would come Thursday, Friday, every other Wednesday, that type of thing. So it's really awesome now that they're doing all day instead, but we have 133 kindergarten students roughly there at one time and so it's just changed everything it's changed our lunchroom it's changed and our right now this area that I live in is growing by leaps and bounds I mean insanely I cannot believe how much it's grown just like within the last even just the last year it's just nuts I don't understand why I mean they just are building houses 
left and right. It's crazy. But it's making me want to move. Because <laughs> we moved here because it was kind of small, you know, and I liked that, but it's getting nuts. I think it's because I came from a really small town originally and I just don't do well with all that traffic and chaos and ugh. I mean I know nobody loves it but at least if you've grown up with it or you're used to it I think it probably helps a little I don't know maybe I'm wrong just wow I get totally overwhelmed it makes me not want to leave the house <laughs> that's the way I take care of that just don't leave the house kind of crazy. So, I just can't believe it. It's just nuts. We had no growth at all for years. And then all of a sudden it was boom. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Which is good, like our economy is good, so that's good. It's just nutty around here. And the problem is like our area is not set up for the growth that we're getting. Our roads and um, schools so we're just completely overcrowded in pretty much all of our schools. And I don't see any change in that anytime soon. Because they just built new schools a couple of years ago. And it's like they were never even built because it's just crazy how much the growth has. Effect of that. And all this stuff that's hanging off, I'm just going to cut off, so it's no big deal. I mean, it's good. I'm glad all these people have jobs, like a lot of the construction workers for... A lot of years there didn't have any work and that was you know I felt bad for people that were in that situation they definitely have work now but it's just sort of too much it's just overwhelming one of the fastest growing states in the Union I heard I don't know but it's, it's nutty I want to use this, but I don't because I'm afraid it's going to. color's going to come off weird. Let's see. I might want this more. all over the place. I even got a uh, <laughs> apron on because <laughs> I know what a mess I become with this stuff. Okay, so I just have that one little spot right there. I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of this right there. If I can get any more stuff out. I'm like almost there. Just let me finish. So I'm going to let that dry, and I'm going to wash my hands, and then I'll come back and do my uh, squirrel flip through, squirrel journal flip through. Hi, everybody. I'm back. So this is my little squirrel journal. 
It measures four and a half by six. It's just a little guy. It was just more for fun. Um, I just wanted, I've really been wanting to do something with these squares because I just think they're so cute. I used a piece of denim, and what I forgot to tell you guys the other day is I like to use the piece with the seam that goes down the leg, and I know you can't see that, but it gives it kind of a neat little spine for your book. So, and you can kind of see it there. That's just the way I, I do it, but I mean, obviously if you just had like um, yardage of denim or whatever, it's going to work just as well. It's just, I like to do that. So, um, I kind of showed this to you guys the other day. The cover is just different fabric that I've stitched all over the place um, to add some interest, kind of a quilting effect. And this is just lace and like linen and um, burlap under there for some texture so you open it up and it's all basically a soft cover there's no um, I didn't put any cardboard or anything in there so it's all a floppy kind of a cover did I say it's four and a half by six is what it measures I think so but anyway there's a little pocket that I stitched in here um, that's paper this is one of Tracy Fox's faux femra um, images the cedarwood scorecard and then I added this is some of Rachel's at Roxy Creations um, coffee dyed paper sorry I don't know why I have so much trouble doing these and there's fabric that I've just stitched down here some coffee dyed lace uh, one of Tracy's images and then this is the tag we made the other day that was supposed to go in that other pocket well you'll see what I did to the other pocket in a minute so the tag wouldn't fit in it anymore <laughs> but so this is just the other piece that was off this way that flower and then I added a butterfly so that's the little tag that I made with you guys and then as I told you that's um, flowers of the holy land out of that book and then just some work basket from November 1962 and this is you know just a little collage there so that you can write because you know you might not want all the writing that's on these pages and there's just some scrap paper that I stenciled on the back and some straw paper from Rachel at Roxy Creations from Italy. Um, this is also Roxy Creations paper, the coffee dyed paper, and that side too. And there's some graph, or not graph, I keep calling that graph, but that's ledger paper, Amy. And then some cream colored lined paper, more coffee dyed paper from Rachel, same thing. She just, the that plastic um, lace just is the best. I just don't have any of that. And this is a scorecard, and this is another piece of paper, just a smaller piece, so I kind of staggered them, as we've seen before. And then there's like a little frame to write in. And this is old, like, kitty paper. Well, it's not old, it's just uh, coffee stained. And this is out of the work basket, and I did leave this one the way that it is. And ledger, and coffee dyed paper, more coffee dyed. And then this is that pocket I showed you guys last time with the mushrooms. And that just tucks back in there. And you could fit quite a bit because these bags, these straw paper bags are pretty thick. But, you know, it depends on how much you want in there. But you could put more in there. And this is just regular coffee dyed paper. Um, scrap paper. Coffee dyed again. And this is the center of the signature. And I did a button card there, and I didn't put anything on it because I thought it's kind of a fun spot to write because this paper is textured. So if you left it, it would be hard to write on that. And then I just did a little um, journal card, and that's uh, Rachel's coffee dyed paper and a butterfly and some fabric just all stitched on there. Just slides in there, and then I just did a little frame here so you can write in there a little easier. Coffee dyed and uh, scrap paper. More coffee dyed and all. Okay, hi everybody. I'm sorry. Um, my camera just cut out and it could cut out at any minute again. I don't know what's wrong with it. I've never seen it do what it did. There was this weird green thing on the screen and all that. So I just want to get to this quick before it goes away. Um, I told you about the button card and then this is just a frame that I put in and coffee dyed paper from Rachel and some scrap paper and coffee dyed paper, a little collage using um, Rachel at Roxy Creations old letters and one of her um, labels. Coffee dyed paper, a piece of ledger, 
And then this is a piece of straw paper and just a little bird up there to cover up the writing that was on there so that you can write here. And that, I left the writing on that side. Um, kitty paper, coffee dyed, coffee dyed paper, and some more scrap paper. I added a little pocket. And then there's a little envelope here that I got from Allie at the Cockney Crafter. Thank you, Allie. It looks really cute with the little birdies here. So that goes in there. And there's nothing in the envelope, so you can put whatever you want in there. And coffee dyed paper, and the other side of the score sheet. Um, more of Rachel's paper, lined paper. Um, this is ledger, coffee dyed paper, straw paper, stenciling. Um, scrap paper and then this is from Tracy Fox and that's part of her faux femra. It's like an old ledger and then this is out of the work basket. That's I left that side and then I told you guys about this side the last time that was just um, part of the explanation about the flowers but it wasn't the correct flower so I went ahead and covered it. That's the other side of that and I didn't put a pocket in the back. So that is the little guy. It's just a little fun one that I thought might be kind of fun for fall. So I um, apologize for the weirdness of that video. And if you don't see me for a while or something, it's probably because my camera's not working. I'm hoping that that was just some weird glitch that it did. But like I said, it's never done anything like that. And I couldn't get it to turn off. I had to pull the battery out and everything. So hopefully it was just some weird little thing. So anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and thank you for all your support. I so appreciate it. And please comment below. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye-bye now.